Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. If you're thinking of giving a guy shorter than you a chance because he's nice, don't. This is your sign not to, and I'm five foot seven. That is supposed to be important, I think. You're five seven. Uh, okay, maybe something for you to consider before adding one more body to your count because reasons. Why no man, regardless of their height, want to be with you or even like you? Single girlies in their late twenties, early thirties. Where are we finding men? Unfortunately, they are working overtime instead of going out and dating because they feel they will never be attractive enough or wealthy enough for a girl ever again. They would rather check their weather app than chat with another person on Hinge. If they're not at work, they're usually at home, the gym, playing video games with friends, or fighting for democracy. You're welcome. Or the short answer, you don't. Unless, of course, you're 5'7", because that's important, I think. Why is trad wife content suddenly blowing up? Because people my age that were traditional wives are getting divorced and realize that they threw 20 years of optional, available, could have been energy into the workforce, into their future. They threw that away doing laundry. Right. The question was, why is trad wife content so appealing to a lot of people? And your answer is because women your age get divorced. <laughs> what? If you really wanted to make a point against the trad wife content, it could have been better to say because you're not seeing the behind the scenes. You're not seeing them brushing the toilets or changing diapers. You only saw Marilyn Monroe there cooking something from scratch or whatever. But you're answer is because you got divorced in your 50s that doesn't even have anything to do with trad wife content if you just want to make a video about you getting divorced just do that you don't need to stitch another video to make your point i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this but oh well here are some of the red flags i look out for when i start seeing somebody if they have any of these red flags it's just an immediate turn off for me the first one is if they mention their crazy ex. Like if they say anything about, oh, like my ex was crazy or something like that, no. Because why was she crazy? What did you do that made her crazy, you know? No, I actually have no idea. Besides quite the obvious, some of you artars are absolutely mental. And that's just because who you are, not because of what he did. I'm sure in at least 12 years of you going to school, a lot of teachers tried to get you to develop an IQ over a boiled egg. And yet still, here you are. Hello? Why, why, why are you here? Um, why are you following this guy on Instagram, by the way? We just Sorry? Broke up we just broke up two weeks ago, now you're following this girl. And I'm really confused as to why you're following her. Okay, but like, but hold on here, like, we've broken up here, like, 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 why are you at my house? Hang on, look. I can literally see it now, yeah? Following, you're following. What, who, who is she? Who is she? Okay, <laughs> but like, why are you at my house for, though? You weren't following her before. I'm so confused. A little bit, yeah. Like, like, you blocked my number, okay, yeah? And now you're at my no, house no. because I'm following another girl. You broke up with me. Listen, I can still come. Can you actually come out and speak to me? Because I don't want to do this over a ring doorbell. No, right. I'm not coming outside. You broke up with me, yeah? I'm trying no, to you... move on. We broke up three weeks ago. Okay, what about this guy? Can he say his ex is crazy or still no? I don't care anymore! Quit hitting me. I've lost my mind! Quit hitting me. It's cool, I got video proof of you doing this. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. Let me leave, you have me blocked in. Well, how about this guy then? Can he say his ex is crazy or still no? Don't even bother, we all already know the answer. Some of you are absolute cuckoos. So I keep seeing on my TikTok um, girls being stood up on dates. So they've like arranged to go on a date with a guy from like a dating app or whatever. And like they either get there and the guy doesn't show or they're fully ready and the guy doesn't message back. Or sometimes like they're there, they met the guy and the guy like leaves halfway through. And I'm just like, man. <laughs> what like what is the thought process behind that like are you married do you not like her was it a game like what is it why what why 
Why, why do you do this? I need to know. You're not gonna like the answer. There's looking good in your profile picture and then there's editing, Photoshop and filters. You yourself, you couldn't even post this one TikTok without using a beauty filter and then you ask why. That's pretty much why. You show up looking nothing like your picture, it's gonna turn around and leave. As for why they leave half day, well, unfortunately, some of you ladies are just that lovely to be around. As for another reason why they leave half day, well, there's this. Hot take, if I have to use my brain on a first date, there's not gonna be a second date. Maybe there are a few men out there who would like to date a vegetable, but me, if I want one, I'll just make me a salad. What is this? Where bad as f women are getting slaughtered brutally by medium ugly men who resemble the rat from Flushed Away. Why is this a widespread phenomenon? And might I add, why do they all look like the rat from Flushed Away? They don't. You just saw your own reflection in the mirror. I think what we're going to see a lot of is the undoing of all of the research that was done through a male lens this year and in the upcoming years. So much research was done by men because women weren't allowed in the sciences historically. And so it was done through this lens of like, I think men are dominant. Now I'll apply that to my research. No research was done through science. Years and years of observation. Now you have some lady writing an article and you call that research. The thing about me is I'm not getting a second date. I uh, know, right? I'm surprised you're getting a first date. I just love women so much, honestly. They are just the best. I'm sorry, men. Just women are the, they're the best. I'm sorry, it's just facts. Well, obviously, but before I fully agree with you, Miss Wonderful, give me a quick second. Nina, define woman. Sorry? Define woman. Define okay. woman for me. Um, I would define it as a uh, gender uh, prescription, or uh, not prescription, sorry, wrong wording. Um, a uh, gendered term that um, implies that you generally... Um, subscribe to a lot of you know social uh i mean obviously I'm like more like general but anyways a lot of social uh values and like uh why do i keep reading the word what is it the the when you're supposed to fulfill a social you know the thing roles. sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry I, I just like struggled with the words there sorry like social roles social values social expectations that was the other one i was thinking of i'm sorry that was just like completely losing my words there um social expectations um that generally align with um the female sex right what was i saying oh yeah the the opposite of me are uh, obviously wonderful what the f is this one Wildin'. No doubt in my head, these two young ladies are gonna be just as wonderful as the previous one. And if you disagree, you're just jealous of their success. But the bright is looking future. Cause at this point, why not? Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I can fully understand why. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.